everyone, this is the tutorial for Fresh Out the Slammer by Taylor Swift. My name's Billy from Piano and Pies, let's get stuck straight in. Right, so to get stuck into this song we need to be in standard tuning and we need basically three chords to get through the full song. Now the first chord we need is an A major chord, which is an open A string, 2-2-2 two, two, two on the D, G, B, and then an open E string. I'll talk about strumming in just a moment, however the other chords we need, F sharp minor, which is a bar chord, and we're going to put our finger on fret 2 of the top string and let the bar all 6 strings, fret 4 on the A string and fret 4 of the D string. And the other chord we need is a D major chord, which is an open D string, 2 on the G, 3 on the B and 2 on the high E string. Now, those three chords will get you through all of the song, however structurally and strumming wise we can play around with it in a few different ways. So, the start of the song has this type of idea. So what I'm doing is I'm playing lots of A chords, down strokes, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I'm doing that for the first part of the song, which is not only the introduction, but what is the next part, which is really the chorus, two times in a row. Now after that, it fully kicks in with the first verse, and we take the same chords and just play them two more times round. So we're just taking A, F sharp minor, and then the D major chord. Notice how I stay on that D twice as long. And that'll get you through the first verse. Now before we go into the other part of the song where the strumming changes a little bit, if you're interested in getting the chord charts for this song, as well as the chords and the lyrics matched up, head on over to Patreon. Not only am I making it for this song, but I'm making it for every song on Taylor Swift's new album. So for a couple of dollars you can get everything wrote out professionally, and it saves you from writing it out and potentially making a mistake or trying to memorise it and forgetting things because... Um, I always forget things. So yeah, feel free to check that out. However, after that first verse, there is a pre-chorus where we play the same chords again, and then a chorus which we play the same chords again six times round. But strumming wise, what we can do is this. <laughs> And what I'm doing there is down, down, up, up, down, down, up which is one, two, three, four, um, for every bar. So it'll happen once on the A, once on the F sharp, and twice on the D major. And that'll provide a little bit of variety to the chord progression, which basically just loops around for almost all of the song. There is this really long part at the end of the song, which is kind of like an outro, which goes on for quite some time. However, it just muddles up the chords in a slightly different order. So what we're going to have is an A major chord, going to an F sharp minor, then an A major, F sharp minor, to the D, to A major, D major to A major again. And every chord I've just said do it all again to get to the end of the outro. Now that is a lot of kind of randomness of chords almost. Um, I found it a bit strange when I was listening through it. Um, so yeah, maybe check out that Patreon link. You've got everything wrote down. It saves you from writing out and maybe making a mistake. And that will get you to the end of the song. So it's a pretty straightforward song with the fact that there's three chords, but the fact that the ending has a lot of randomness to the order of the chords makes it a bit of a challenge. Now, I want to say thanks to the people on the screen. Those are my active patrons. So the content that I mentioned over on Patreon, they will get that the moment this video goes live. So thanks to them for their support. Thanks to you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.